Hello and welcome members GSS Server Project 8 enrolling devices into Microsoft Intune and this is going to be really interesting video because in the previous video we've built the foundation we've showed you how to organize things in the Intune and how to enable this auto enrolling in Microsoft Intune and now it's time for the practical example how those machines how those users will automatically get enrolled into the max of intune so here's let's move to our gss machines and let me show you how it gonna enroll into the max of intune so let's move to the machines now there you go this is the windows 10 machine and i'm going to right click to the start and there on the start menu I'm going to launch the settings and here let me click to the accounts and go to the access worker school and there I will click to the connect and it gonna open this whole Microsoft dialog box and here you have the option join this device to Azure Active Directory so we're going to this one we're going to select this one and here we're going to use the same account on which we assign both of the licenses the enterprise and the office 365 and now it's time for test so gss dmv2 dot on microsoft dot com and moving ahead now here you can see that in a while you'll find the message that gonna tell you that this machine this account has successfully joined the Azure environment and there you go you when you find this message let's click to join and wait for the other screen from the output from the machine so let's click to done and click here and once you join this Azure environment you're gonna find this detail here we're on access worker is cool so when you find this one that tells that your machine is a part of azure environment and it also provides you the tenant name of your azure cloud so let's click here and go to info and if you further explore this one so you're gonna find the sync button and it works like the same you have this gp update forward slash force it sync the policies the current status of this account it sings the membership of the group it sings the rights so this thing button give you a lot and just make you connected on the real time with your cloud and when you have any policy if your administrator you know implemented new policies and set up some restriction for your account for the group whom you are member of so you're gonna find all those restriction policies profiles here so let's click to sync this account with the current and real status of the group that you are part of and let's wait for this whole sync process because it may take few minutes to complete this syncing process so now the sync process is completed so let's close this setting panel and let's type here cert lm.msc and let's open this console and here it required confirmation to open and here these certificates will tell you that whether you have this Intune auto enrollment so so let's expand this personal and then click to the certificate and there you go you have three certificate at the time this Microsoft Intune MDM device the MS organization access and the P2P that actually telling you that you are automatically enrolled to the Microsoft Intune and all the configurations we showed you that works simply and successfully now let's confirm the device joining to the Azure so here we're gonna type Windows PowerShell and there you go alright so let's run it as the administrator and the command is simple and easy 
to execute and you can easily and anyone can easily remember that command and execute when needed and this is what dscmd dsreg cmd space forward slash status enter and there you go is the device join yes and here you will find the status of the device and if you scroll up you will find these details the tenant details the jssd mv1 and these are the link that are telling you that you are successfully joined and you you'll find your own object id here once you join and here in the under the device status you have azure ad join that is yes and specifically once you join the tenant you're going to find these links these details like that as you're seeing right now these three ones specifically so that telling you that you are successfully joined and also you have what the automatic enrollment to the intune so we are totally sure and totally validated the whole process the whole configuration and that is right now working successfully so now let's log into that specific account that we used to join this machine to the azure so simply do what just right click to sign out from your local account and then double click here and go to the other user and type here jss triple s p2 s j s s and then dmv2 dot on microsoft dot com and here's the password that you set for this account and then press enter and there you go it is collecting the details creating the new profile for the first time for the first use and there you go hi that actually the symbol the notification that tells you that you are too near to log in and it is preparing things for the first time and there you go it is asking for the security so let's proceed with the policy with the way it authenticates and secure its users so there you go there's a process you need to finish for login first time and there you go on the back ground you you can see our JSS logo our customization that we did for our Azure environment and it's up to you you can configure as you like and what your organization needs it's up to you and now here's you need to go through this process to authenticate yourself because you're about to using the Azure account in your local machine that's why it needs your basic details to validate you to validate this whole login process so here I'm going to use my number and then I will proceed so and once you provide your mobile number then it requires some pin so I'm going to use the pin that I always use in my accounts and the best thing is that you cannot see what I type now here it is preparing for the first login for the first time use of the Azure account within your local machine and there you go you're successfully login to the Azure tenant and now it's time to validate and verify the devices on the endpoint.azure so here we need to log into this link endpoint.maxsoft.com and here let's navigate to the devices and here's once you click to the devices you will once you need to when once you start seeing the output in the middle then take your decision and then click so here let's wait for the total output and there you go you will find this whole screen and then and now then click to the if you want to verify so you're gonna find the in tune and roll devices and there you go you have two right now and if you want to see that which two devices are automatic enrollment based devices so you're gonna find this two one so one the help desk one that I did before 
was not done successfully that was some other project some other machine so this is the right machine the machine which we used during this whole lab and it is compliant complaint so that tells that you are successfully enroll in the Intune automatically enroll in the Intune and all of our configuration all of our steps that we showed you clearly discuss each and every step in the previous video in the previous project so all work and all looks good here now this time we're going to verify a whole each and everything on where on the Azure portal so let's click to the Azure Active Directory and this is like Azure Active Directory .portal .azure .com. and here we're going to do the same click to the devices because it's related to the devices and once you click here on the devices you're gonna find the output in the middle pane and that will tell you that whether this machine has this automatic enrollment and here you can see this is the, the machine that we used during this lab and here on the join type it is what this Azure AD join and here you can see under the MDM it says the max of Intune and the compliant and that's what we want to show you that's what we want to validate in the last of this whole project video and I hope you catch the whole concept and you clearly watch each step because each step is playing a wider role in adding and in using this whole feature that Azure is offering so if you missed the project 7 video go back to that video watch each and every step clearly and then perform this project 8 and definitely and I, I assure you that you will achieve this success in the end that that we are really achieving right now so that's how these things work and like i said in each every video to learn real world id skill log on to the job skillshare.org thanks for watching guys